Hi, I'm Thomas from Vardin. I'm going to show you a short demonstration about TouchKit 2.0. We've got a small coding session for you guys here. It took 15 minutes to code, but we've sped up some parts so it's only about 7 minutes long. We've used an existing backend for this application. So, let's get started. The easiest way to build a TouchKit application right now is using the Maven plugin. We have a new archetype, it's called Vadin Archetype TouchKit. You can use that and Maven will generate the project structure for you. As you can see here, the structure looks a lot like a basic Vadin application. You have your application class, and a web.xml file. One thing that we have to do before we can deploy the application is build the widget set. Luckily, Maven can do this for us. Building the widget set can take a few minutes depending on your CPU power. So let's skip ahead. Okay, the widget set is built and now we can deploy our application. This is what the sample application looks like. It's just a button that you can tap. Let's start developing our application. For this we need the backend, so let's add the dependency to Maven. Once we've done that, we can start building our layouts. We use a navigation manager as the root layout. The navigation manager contains a root view. That's a class that we're going to develop ourselves. The root view extends navigation view that's basically TouchKit's version of a custom component. The root view will contain our groups. We get the groups from the back end and iterate over them. Each group gets an own button and its own listener. To show all the persons in a group, we need the group view. This, similarly to the root view, is a basic navigation view that we make ourselves. In the group view, we simply iterate over all the persons inside the group. When we tap on a person, we're taken to a view that shows that person's information. Let's not implement the person view just yet. Let's take a step back and see that everything works so far. Here we see the root view, the group view, and the person view. Everything's working as it should. Okay, let's implement the person view. This is basic Vardin stuff, and if you know Vardin, you have no problem understanding this. We simply add components for each of the fields in person. We've got a label for the name, a link for the email and telephone number, and a label for the address. Ok, now we've got our application. Let's see how it looks on an iPhone. Simply open Safari and navigate to your application. For native look and feel, you should add the application to your home screen.
This has the additional benefit that you can quickly check on your application while developing. Now, here we see our root view, our group view, and the person view. The navigation is really smooth. So, that's it for our coding session. Let's take a look at the pre-made application to demonstrate how you can use the same application for different layouts on different devices. This application is called Mobile Mail, and it's basically a really simple email application. You've got different accounts, different folders, and messages. Again, the application has a very native feel. Now, let's take a look at exactly the same application on an iPad. We're using a different layout, but the components themselves are the same. So, we developed a simple application in 15 minutes. Then we took a look at how you can achieve a native look and feel on two different devices with the same application. I hope this got you interested in developing some Vardin TouchKit applications for yourself. Thanks for watching.